takes some gut sometimes. You know, I tell my uh, in my workshops, I try to tell them to just have the courage to go after what it is you think you're going to do. Put it down and leave it alone and move through the painting and, and stop going back and forth. Then when you get home, have a little show for yourself and get your workout, set it up, and really take a look. And then you'll you'll be able to kind of judge your ideas and your thought process. And then next time, just build on that. So I think there's a real discipline there on kind of wading through the struggle in the field, not really understanding what you're getting. Sometimes I walk up to their paintings and I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. And they're sitting there pulling their hair out and they just turn around and start crying. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what's the matter? And they're so frustrated they can't take it one more second. And I'm looking at their painting and I'm like, oh, no, 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 you're doing fine. This is, this is really nice. Look how fresh this is over here. And within, you know, 30 seconds, they're, they're so happy they're whistling again. And so to get out, paint with other people, it really, it gives you a chance to see kind of where you are, how you look at things, why you look at things the way you do. It's been real healthy to see how uh, other people approach things.